Yo, go subscribe, go get informed by Peter Nzeki, you know, bigger brother. Guys, uh, welcome to Peter Nzeki TV and uh, if you're new to this channel, please, please subscribe and click the notification bell below. So this is the number one home for entertainment in Kenya, East Africa and the whole of Africa. So I'm here to update you on the latest in the world of entertainment and our first story today is, uh, you know, um, just a couple of days ago, um, Kenyans woke up to the sad reality that, you know, Nadia Mukami's songs were deleted from YouTube. So Nadia Mukami alikuja akasema that you know songs zake zile hit songs zimetolewa YouTube ni si rahisi eh ile ngoma yake na Sanaipei most of her songs zimetolewa YouTube. And she's been you know frustrated that you know why this had to happen to her. Na imekuwa ni story mob imekuwa ni story mob of late tunapata pia Otile Brown pia ngoma zake pia zilitolewa of which pia um it, it, it begs the question why are people asking themselves mbona hizi ngoma zinatolewa YouTube um, from my perspective is um, see see our sanyo me delete it's it's because um these artists when they they create a hit song they get approached by record labels um, and you know these record labels they, they, they give them a deal they get they get record deals they they tie them to to their craft no Record label inakuja na kuambia okay so and so um shika tunapata 5 million uh tusaini na wewe hii deal maybe for the next 3 or 4 years so ukipata hii 5 million una fry jiwe ni msani um but sasa what what you don't know is this label what this label wants from you is um they want uh, 50% or even 60% of the sales zote zenye ziko digital all the digital sales is my streams zote uh, YouTube views ni nini wanataka 50%. They also want like 40 or 30% of all the endorsement deals that you get. So unapata msanii at the end of the day yeye ndo anakuja, anakuja na ana anajipiga kitu kwa sababu alikimbilia hiyo ndo alipatiwa, aliona hiyo 5 million ni pesa mau but ukiangalia retrospect 2 3 years down the line it's it's like a chain being tied to you unajua. Sasa hii you know unapata out the brown ngoma zake ndizo zimeenda nini cha gola moyo imetoka YouTube Dusuma which Dusuma was Otile Brown's biggest song unapata pia imetolewa YouTube manze so it's been a sad sad week pia unapata also eh, Pombe Sigara and Viri pia ilitolewa um, Kalale ya Ulisra ya Ulisra Bubu pia ilitolewa which ni kitu ina affect sana ni sana um, sezi taka kudiscourage of coming artist but ila tu ku advice as an artist you manage your, your, your stuff alone manze kimbilezi record deals at the end of days na kujanga zina, zina, zina kuumiza yu manyewe a case in study ni um, he, uh, most of the people when you wanna follow, wanna skizanga trap, eh? Um, Lil Wayne was signed to uh, YMCMB, which ni a um, itangwa to Batman. So I'll come sign a contract in a easy allow Lil Wayne release music until Batman a a a a a con itangwa to a kubali unona. And it took a lot of back and forth in ni nini to lika like almost six seven years before Lil Wayne release uh, Kata Five. But after back and forth, ni nini ni na being coerced, ni baki sasa badman na melipa Lil Wayne 50 million dollars na kama wala wari this project zake. So hii kusign deal kama ujafikiria, that's why mina semanga, unawana kipati wata contract na record label. Tafta ata lawyer, mulipi ata do mwambie ni aje, ama kipati wa contract yote, find a lawyer askize, akusome hizi, 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 hizi vitu zote, ndio aweze kukwelezea, if ni poa kusign ama ni nini unasa, una give back, una give out. Kwa zuneza kuna sign away you are birth rate, unajua? So wasani manze mkuwe careful uku inje manze. Pole sana na Diemu Kami, Otile Brown, pole manze. Pole manze, Uli Straburu, manze for losing your song. I hope it should have resolved. Na hizo ngomba zita rudi YouTube. Mwa vipi watu wamu. Yeah, another story is, uh, you know, um, Ali Kiba uh, was in Kenya um, yesterday uh, to release his new album called uh, Only One King. Of course, mnaji Only One King in a manshendo, the only king wa bongo flavor. So um, he came, there was a, a, an album launch yesterday and an exclusive listening party at the Trademark Hotel. Now I was able to get an exclusive interview with Ali Kiba so I more about the album, which is a very, very nice album. They go stream it right now on AudioMark. Um, album Ali Kiba, he has so many collabs. He has a song with Nashinsky, he has a song with uh, Calligraph Jones, he has a song with uh, Black Diamond uh, from South Africa. So go and listen to Al Kiba's new album, and it was only one king. Um, now, by the way, uh, what criteria does he use uh, when, when selecting an artist? Akasema, you know, um, you know what? Um, 
unaangalia na target target market yako na target yako kama msanii ukifanya collab what do you what do you need to get uh, in return no, no. na uh, that's that's why um I've chose to work with the artist in the album so to come bado um why why does he have so many kenyan artists on his album akasema you know he has a, he has worked with Otile Brown before but the song that he has with Otile Brown and akuweka kwa album but the next album itakuwepo but kitu alisema ya maana ni ati alikuwa anatamani sana kufanya ngoma but the album akona ngoma bado na sauti so good go listen to it um akaulizwa akasema but the alitamani sana kufanya kazi na major major yule kijana wetu wa Tambla pale major mgege big up bro but uh, aingewezekana kufanya kazi na major um, but alipenda sana kufanya kazi na major na ana hope um, in the coming days ataweza kufanya kazi pamoja so yeah go listen to Alkibas new album inaitwa only one king manzi it's a very very dope album go stream it manzi also another story is uh, this weekend um I'm a piano's finest vocalistic uh, and DJ Obzo will be performing at the winning post uh, tomorrow which is Sunday. So come through manze watu wanapenda ama piano ama firimbi manze kujeni ma represent. Uh, for those who don't know vocalistic vocalistic eh ni msanii mdogo sana kutoka South Africa. Um, his breakout song was uh, Kesta uh, remix featuring Davido ilifanya ama piano ika hit Africa in Nigeria ndio sasa pia hiyo ikafanya pia Diamond Diamond uh, vocalistic ni msanii mwenye bado uh, Diamond amemficha kwa hiyo ngoma yake ya EO of which is a very very dope song ni msanii mkubwa also uh, DJ Obza DJ Obza ni msanii mkali kutoka SA um, for those who know wana join ngoma ya mapiano inaitwa Magda Kiwe yenyewe mfanyo remix na harmonize that's the owner of the song so watu wa filimi wanze kujeni wanze ma represent kesho mbaya sana yeah also another story is um, you know Nai boy also um, has come out to to air out his frustrations as an artist na after his song history yote ya kina Otile na kina Nadia ngoma zao kutolewa na uh, came out to, to to air out his sentiments na unajua uh, akaenda Instagram na kapost and I quote All I ever wanted is to release music for my fans na jo fans wanashanga what's up with Nai boy my hands have been tied for two years I'm tired of being at the mercy of these guys i might need a lawyer a serious one mimi nimefika mwisho i miss naiboy as much as you guys do please pray for me i love music so much it hurts me i have over 800 songs and i can't release even a single one so this is after uh, frustrations unajua naiboy pia amenyamaza sana tu anashanga ai mbona naiboy alacha ku release music unajua people have been asking themselves so many questions about Uh, Kenyan artists why sometimes msanii anatoa ngoma alafu anapotea ni hizi record hizi record deals zenye watu wana sign tu unakuja unapatiwa mita 5 unafurahi kumbe unajua ni nini ume sign you know for instance um, kama ile time yenye ethical kuja ka blow up they were they were given a deal by Universal Music Kenya na some along the road wakakuja wakakosana cuz unajua sometimes unajua when you sign a deal with uh, a record label ama a distribution company before you release a song lazima upatie ni kwa management au isikize wakikubali ndio uta release so they are limiting your creativity as an artist of which me i don't well yes the money is good but ku limit creativity yako kama msanii is not good unajua i remember jalango alisema in an interview that tukimuliza alisema you know most of the tv stations they wanted to buy his his show you know jalabonga na jalas for so many millions millions of kenya shillings but yeah alisema ni aje hataki ku sell his product he can't sell his creativity because you know the, the problem with selling your art is people will want to change who you are they they want to compromise you for who you are and change how your show is same thing that happened to uh, chabetrono um when he got a job in uh, arjuna kwa radio station humbo is bado um the reason why she left she said they wanted her to they told her to change because her persona or her character is not uh, for her target market ama is not for radio at a change ndio able to sell out to the market which doesn't make sense mimi kama msanii naona what kind of creativity yako ibaki creativity but as an artist bado once you are an upcoming artist na maybe ukuje kwa na hit song moja tafuta lawyer mweke karibu ukienda ku sign deals ukienda ku perform nini nini hizi contract zote have a lawyer by your by, by, by stand by mwenye atakukwambia hizi conditions zote na hizi terms zote if they are making sense or not unajua so yeah Um, pole sana na boy i hope it's really it was sorted imagine 800 songs in two years and you can't just release one song anyway let's hope for the best manzi also another story is um you know um sort of soul uh, have taken a break um to work on various solo projects that they have 
So meaning that our job break up but kabisa kabisa but they are focusing on individual projects kama you know BN has a um, has just released an EP with Arun Rimbui called Bald Men Love Better. As in come on uh, they are big artists you know they are they are free to collaborate with, with whoever artists they want to. So I think when I explore their various individualities when doing these collabs. So um to also to solve fans out there manzi msioni kama wameachana they are just doing individual projects to push uh, themselves and expand on their creativity. Our last story today um you know um gospel artist Daddy Owen uh, is set to release a new album called Chapter 4 on the 16th of October. So what to Generation Z what was in 2000 when you were doing Daddy Owen is a very very big big gospel artist um he has various hit songs you know Vanity um Bona Bona system ya kapungala tobina i mean he was the first kenyan artist to win the, not the first the second kenyan artist to win an a mama mtv mama awards um so ni msanii mkubwa sana wa gospel amekuwa kinyamaza for a while but finally anakuja ku release album inaitwa chapter 4 so guys go listen to his album manze uh, when it comes out um, we are waiting for him to release it so ni takuaje but yeah that's it for today guys so please please subscribe and share with your friends manze Let's let's reach to 5000 subscribers and even 10000 subscribers. Subscribe 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 and please please comment and let's keep the conversation going. What would you want us to talk about? Not you share your thoughts up chini. I got that bless and I'm a baby. Bless up guys. Yes, yes. Hanging out with my main man Peter Zeki and on this Peter Zeki TV. How are you guys doing? You want celeb news, you want government news, you want breaking news. There's only one place to get it. Peter Zeki News. Subscribe, subscribe. Let's take it to the next level. Peter Zeki to the world. White media tofadhali. White media.